So in Expeditions Mud Runner, there's going to be a lot of stress. And in this video, we're going to cover some advanced tips to help you guys out. Starting off with number one, if you are in Arizona, for an example, there are a lot of cliffs. And sometimes it might be quite difficult to find a safe route down. So what you can actually do is use one of your anchors that you can take on the expedition with you and place that towards the edge of a cliff and then get the back end of your truck and attach it to that with your winch. And then you can can actually lower yourself down cliffs so it's going to save a lot of time in some areas and it's also going to find you a little bit like sometimes you'll take damage so a little bit of a safer route off a big cliff if you can't really find a safe way down then number two is if we go into arizona and we have a look at the expeditions that are available I recommend checking all of the rewards before you go into them because it might be beneficial to do one before the other. So for an example, if I can find the correct expeditions, you have one here called Hollywood Pales in Contrast and you'll see the objectives are all the way over on the left hand side of the map. But one you'll have available at the same time is going to be Quiet Place. And if we have a look at the rewards, this unlocks the North Outpost. So by completing this, you're going to get an outpost that's closer to the objectives. So always check the rewards of the expeditions because you never know when it's going to be beneficial to do one over the other. And next up is when you are picking a truck, I do this on every single truck now. What you want to do is you want to grab your jack screws, grab your anchors. And every single time you go onto an expedition, take some extra fuel and some spare parts. You can do this through roof racks and side mounts and everything like that. When you are, for an example, if we grab a scout vehicle, then if we have a look, I can only take these. I don't have a sideboard, so I can't take the fuel and spare parts. But if we go into customize and I switch over the roof, I switch it to the roof rack, then what you can do is go to fill slots and you can take uh, fuel, so 15 liters there, and you can take spare parts, you get 50 there. So that's going to be really, really helpful. It's going to let you, like, it's going to give you more freedom so that you can yeet yourself through rough terrain because you can just fix your truck up. And you're also going to be able to drive further because you've got extra fuel. And next up is always scout areas for airdrops as these are going to provide fuel and spare parts which are going to be vital to keeping some expeditions going. For an example, we have covered No More Shaking. That one was really stressful for a lot of players because of the lack of fuel. Whereas on your way through, there is an airdrop on the way and you're going to be able to pick up fuel. I believe you get 150 spare parts and you get 100 litres of fuel in an airdrop. So it's really, really important that you try and find one using your drone and stuff or just driving past one on expeditions because it's going to save you a lot of hassle in this game. And then last but definitely not least, when it comes to placing waypoints, if we go and say our route is going to be all the way along here for an example, if you look at the bottom right, you've just got delete last waypoint, hold it to clear the route and add a destination point. But you can actually move these around and you can remove some that are in the middle of the sort of like path you've created. So what you need to do is hover over one of them and it doesn't tell you this. I don't think it tells you anywhere in the game. But if you hover over it and you press the button to add a destination point. So for me, it's X on my Xbox controller. That is actually going to remove it from the middle of the path. So you don't have to just keep spamming to delete your previous one. And then if you want to like say for an example, we've got a rough route up here. Say we we don't want this waypoint bit here we need it a little bit over here instead of removing it and like placing a brand new one what you can do is just hold down your place button and you can actually drag these around and it's going to update the like waypoint for you and then if you want to add an extra one you can just add an extra one onto the path wherever you want so that's going to come in really helpful for planning your routes on your expeditions so that was some advanced tips to help you guys out when it comes to Expeditions Mud Runner. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.